Hey, what's going on everyone? Dr. Bo here. Today, I'm going to teach you how to get rid of that nasty knot and kink in your upper back. So, how do we do it? Why does this nasty kink or knot even happen in our upper back and neck? First, let's talk about what that is. Now, if you didn't know, what this is is a muscle contraction that has now turned into what is known as a trigger point. To give you a little bit of education, your muscles work in a sliding motion, meaning as they contract, if we're doing our biceps, as they contract it here, the muscles will actually slide back and forth and that's what gives them strength. When we experience a muscle knot, what ends up happening is the muscle has slid and given strength and then has not been able to release. We typically see these types of muscle knots and, and trigger points when a person is sustaining a posture or a position for a long period of time. So think about it as of a person that's sitting at a computer for long hours where their posture isn't the greatest. You're not supposed to be normally at 90, your head's forward, things going here, this muscle is under a lot of tension. So what it does is it's under constant contraction and then ultimately it's tightening up and it's not being able to release. So how do we release it? Let's discuss and dive more. The first thing that you can do is you can either use a combination of ice or of heat. Now, if it happens all the time, it's a quote unquote chronic condition, then I typically will like to use heat like a heating pad or a warm water bottle. Or I'll tell my patient, hey, go and stand in the shower and let warm water hit that for about three to five minutes just to create more blood flow in the area. When the blood flow increases, the muscles will relax. Now, if it happened like a day ago and it's just a bad, nasty knot and it's not releasing and it's so painful, then I'll tell you to ice it because there's inflammation in the area. We want to decrease the inflammation. All right, so let's presume that this is something that happens all the time. You know, patients come in and say, well, Matt, I get this knot all the time in my neck. What do I do about it? First thing, heating pad, hot shower, five to 10 minutes, just to try to loosen up the muscle. The second thing I want you to do is a couple of simple stretches. So here's what you're gonna do. Presuming that it's on my left side, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my right hand and if I'm sitting in a chair, I'm gonna reach under the chair and hold on and give myself a little bit of stability. If I'm not sitting in a chair, I'm just gonna take it and slide it underneath my left thigh. I'm gonna use that to anchor myself down and then with my head directly straight, so I'm not turning left and right, a straight head, I'm gonna take the opposite hand and I'm gonna reach over the top of my head and I'm gonna bring the head over at a 90 degree angle, trying to anchor myself down. What I'm trying to do is to create a stretch that goes down this way and up this way in a muscle called your trapezius. So we'll take that and we'll bring it over and we'll hold it here for about 10 to 15 seconds. Now, I'm not jarring my neck and I'm not twisting or anything like that. It's a simple sustained stretch as we take over for about 10 to 15 seconds. After that's done, I'll release my neck and I'll perform the second stretch. The second stretch is I'm taking the tip of my nose and I'm pointing it down to my right armpit. As I bring it down, I'm then going to take my hand, not at a 90 degree angle, but at a 45 degree angle coming down from nose down into armpit, and I'm going to stretch the neck down here. What you'll notice is that the stretch changes. It goes away from being directly over the trapezius and goes to a portion in the back of the neck from here to the top of our shoulder called your levator scapula. Normally, where the muscle contractions, those spasms, the trigger points happen is at the intersection of those two muscles. So if we can stretch both of those out, that in itself may release it. Now, if it doesn't, the next thing that I suggest is you get yourself a tennis ball or a lacrosse ball. This is a trigger point ball. And you're gonna take the ball and you're gonna simply take it with the palm of your hand and you're gonna rub it all over those muscles. Now we're not pressing in real deeply, we're just trying to create a little bit of motion in the muscles. Again, you're gonna rub them for about 10 to 15 seconds and then we're gonna redo those stretches again. So we're gonna stretch it over here at 90 degrees. Then we're gonna go nose to armpit down, again, holding each one for about 10 to 15 seconds. And then the last thing that I suggest 
is to take that ball and find yourself a wall and put the ball against the wall and pin it up against it and move it back and forth over that big old knot and muscle contraction. You want to hold it for about 10 to 15 seconds. When you find the right spot, hold that area and then release. And then once again, go through the stretching. 90 degrees, nose to armpit. I hope that helps you guys. If you guys have questions about getting rid of these nasty little kinks and knots in your neck, please ask me down below in the comments. I'll see you guys on the next video.